Here at Scott Legal, we know the ins and outs of immigration. We are here to help you navigate the oftentimes complex road in achieving your immigration goals. We have new immigration videos every week. If you are new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and bell. You can also sign up for one of our webinars or get a free immigration guide by clicking the link below. In this video, we'll be exploring what you need to know about the E-2 employee visa. Stay tuned. The E-2 employee visa can be an excellent option for an E-2 business that wants to hire foreign nationals that share the same nationality as the principal owner of the E-2 business. The E-2 employee must be coming to the United States to work for the E-2 business as a manager, executive, or specialized employee. In this video, we will discuss what the E-2 employee visa is, who can apply for it, and how to prepare a strong application. First, let's start with background. The E-2 employee must share the nationality of the E-2 business. When an E-2 investor's visa is approved, their E-2 business is given the nationality of the E-2 investor. For example, if a German national owns 100% of the E-2 business, that business has German nationality. If a German national shares 50-50 ownership with an Italian national, the E-2 business has both German and Italian nationality. Nationals of the business's country or countries of nationality can apply for an E-2 employee visa. This would allow them to come to the United States to work for the E-2 company. For example, an E-2 company that is owned 50% by a German national and 50% by an Italian national can hire eligible foreign nationals from either Germany or Italy, who can then come to the U.S. to work for the E-2 business. What are the benefits of an E-2 employee visa? The E-2 employee visa enables foreign nationals to work for the E-2 company in the United States. The process of applying for an E-2 employee visa is typically quicker and more straightforward than the L visa and other work visa options. The E-2 employee visa can be issued for up to five years, depending on the reciprocity agreement that the United States has with the home country of which the company and employee are nationals. The visa validity period can also be affected by when the E-2 investor's visa expires or when the company's E-2 visa registration expires. The E-2 employee visa can be renewed indefinitely as long as the E-2 company and its E-2 investor owners remain eligible. Also, an E-2 employee can bring their spouse and children to the U.S. on derivative E-2 visas. Spouses of E-2 employees automatically receive work authorization as soon as they enter the U.S., and children of E-2 employees can attend school. What are the requirements to qualify for an E-2 employee visa? In order to qualify for an E-2 employee visa, the employee must hold a valid passport from the same country of nationality as the E-2 business. Like the E-2 investor, the E-2 employee must intend to depart the United States at the end of their visa. The E-2 visa does not require that the E-2 employee or the E-2 investor have any specific educational background, though it is usually important to show that the applicant has some relevant experience in the field, even if that experience was gained outside of a school setting. The E-2 employee visa is reserved for managers, executives, supervisors, specialized employees, or essential employees. What must the E-2 investor keep in mind if they plan to employ E-2 employees? While there is no minimum salary that the E-2 employee must be paid, salary is one of the factors the government officer will consider when deciding whether to approve the E-2 employee visa. The E-2 investor should compensate the E-2 employee in accordance with the role that they will have in the United States. For example, if the E-2 company wants to employ a chief executive officer as an E-2 employee, but only offers a salary of $40,000 for the role, the officer could have doubts whether the person will really be working as a CEO, which usually commands a much higher salary. Also, if the E-2 investor is living in the United States, they must maintain valid E-2 status. As soon as they do not, the company becomes ineligible to support E-2 employees. Please note that this only applies if there is an E-2 investor and if the E-2 investor is physically within the United States. It is possible for an E-2 business to have E-2 employees without the investors and owners of the business being inside the U.S. Also, as described here, the E-2 employee visa might be a good alternative to a second E-2 investor visa, 
where there is more than one owner of the E2 business. To learn more, take a look at our resources in the description box below. You can also sign up for a free visa guide, any of our upcoming webinars, and Facebook groups. You can also schedule a consultation for a date and time that is best for you. We are here to help. You can contact us by calling 212-223-2964 or by sending us an email. We look forward to hearing from you.